The final farewell between Imam Hussein and his salam and Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam. Notice on the other side, on your left, there is a lady on the ground with two children. That lady is Sayyida Zainab salamullahi alayha. On the day of Ashura, at that point in time, Bibi Zainab had already suffered the loss of Ali Akbar. She had already suffered the loss of Qasim. She had already seen the bodies of Aul and Muhammad. Now she sees that the final protector of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is coming to bid farewell. The final protector of her jadir is coming to bid farewell. What must have gone through the heart of Zainab alayhi salam as Abbas came to bid farewell to her? Maybe she might have remembered the final moments of Imam Ali alayhi salam in Kufa, that when Imam was about to pass away, he called all his children together and he gave every one of their hands on the hand of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. But one son was left out. Bibi Umul Balin goes to Imam Ali and asks, Oh my master, has Abbas done anything wrong? Imam said, No, call my son Abbas. Abbas was brought to Imam and then Imam Hussein alayhi salam was called and then Imam gave the hand of Abbas to the hand of Hussein and then he told him Abbas, this Hussein is not your brother, this Hussein is your master, so treat him like your master. You will represent me on the day of Ashura because of this Abbas alayhi salam. Never call Imam Hussein his brother till his last breath. He always addressed him as his master. That loyal warrior, that brave commander, that loving brother is now bidding farewell. Notice as Abbas alayhi salam is about to mount his horse, a four-year-old girl comes forward and clings on to her uncle. Abbas looks down and sees Sakina. He asks her, Sakina, what are you doing here? Sakina says, oh my uncle, I've come to stop you from going to the battlefield. He asks her why. She says that I have seen whoever has gone from the morning of Ashura till just now has not come back alive. Do not go to the battlefield. Abbas tells her, Sakina, I am going to get water for you. He tells her, I know you are very thirsty. I am going to quench your thirst. Bibi Sakina becomes happy. She calls all the children together. She tells them, look, I know you are thirsty, but get your cups of water ready because now my uncle is going to the battlefield. Definitely we are going to get water because my uncle is known as Sabka, the one who quenches the thirst of the people. We will definitely get water. Get your cups of water ready. Abbas proceeds to the battlefield. Notice, as Abbas is charging forward, the arrows are coming from all directions. The arrows are being shot in huge numbers, but Abbas continues to charge forward. He shows them that he is the son of Haider al karrad the son of the charging knight. Abbas alayhi salam attacks the enemy. Umar ibn Sa'd gave them the command to surround him from all directions. Therefore he is surrounded. There were 4,000 troops stationed right in front of Murad, and then the other 26,000 plus who are around that army. They were all attacking Abbas. Some people are hitting him with swords, some people are throwing spears, some people are shooting arrows, some people are throwing stones. Abbas is surrounded, Abbas is being wounded, but he continues to fight. And as he fights, Abbas alayhi salam says, Inni ana al Abbas ibn Ali, I am Abbas, the son of Ali. La arhabul maut, idil mautu raqa. I do not fear death, for me death is success. Hatta uwara fi masalitil liqa. And I'm going to plunge myself into the heart of this enemy until I can no longer be seen. Nafsi, li nafsil Mustafa puhur wakra. My life will be sacrificed for the life of Muhammad the pure prophet. Inni an al-Abbas aqtub is I am that Abbas who has been sent to fetch water for the camp of Hussein. Saying this Abbas alayhi salam attacks them and he attacks them with such valor. He fights so valiantly that the army scatters. The army is no match for Abbas because Abbas is a one-man army. Abbas alayhi salam fights until he makes sure that he reaches Furat. Abbas clears a path and now Abbas alayhi salam proceeds towards Furat. Remember Abbas himself is thirsty for three days.